Doc. Relax. We've got everything under control. Citizen Brown, that's Doc all right, but what the heck's going on here? Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. This is the dumbest design ever. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a... Jennifer? Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron? I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, it. What do you give me for it? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Ugh. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now?
Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I could really use your help right about now. Relax! We've got everything under control. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Oof. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see. Let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you, too, citizen. What's 
going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts? Is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. In Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? I need to talk to you. Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. said that attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of c64 i wasn't trying to destroy it take your demerit
Biff? Hey, well, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc! Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. I don't see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen plus or bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that, but yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Uh, sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Uh, sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch him sooner or later. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always d discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Oh, on second thought, blah. used to be a real bruiser. But that's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. <gasps> oh. Oh. Don't torment me. I can get used to this. Oh, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley's Citizen Plus. Uh, plus is... plus I? So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus... Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. I can get used to this. No, oh, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. I can get used to this. No, oh, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time.
So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Why'd you dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this time, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, barf? You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're... You rules myself. You... Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. Let's not, and say we did. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. I would lighten up. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted, which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. 
What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! Mom? Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well... I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, that can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? Poof! Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? <laughs> No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? <sighs> but Citizen Brown always says... A scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Ugh. Good thing I'm not hungry. Free soy dog samples. Take one. Hmm, I guess they ran out. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchley. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's.
Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. A peeping Tom. Ah, Dad. Try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day, citizen. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah. My kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further Oh, Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. Please address me as Mrs. Citizen Brown. Nice. We didn't have a computer in the other timeline. I... Uh... Well, no joystick. That's lame. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. Yeah, here you got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on you, I say. Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Um... I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mow counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, 
not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. It's about Mom. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You, you're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's got to be a good thing. Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion. What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Hmm. Something on your mind? It's about me. I'm all ears. Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. I... recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that... that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. Do you, uh... Is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Okay, different subject. Yeah? So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction... I did mess around with it once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that 
there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. Okay, different subject. Yeah? It's about someone we both know. Yes? Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Hmm. Something on your mind? Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, oh, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, oh, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Aha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. Hmm... Something on your mind? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son. But while you were away at your Mathemagic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. So, uh, when's this dust mite problem gonna be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh, where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. 
Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Another day in Hill Valley. The perfect place to live. That wasn't a note of irony in your voice, was it, citizen? Irony? What's that, officer? Effective against moths, mosquitoes, and tannins. Violate the perimeter, son. Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. Mom? Uh, Mom, are you, uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George! Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get in? Yes. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin, uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors, and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Mom? What about you, Mom? What about me? What are you doing out here polishing the statue? 
I know. I was scheduled to clean the clock this month, but then Needle's mom ate some of that bad tofu that's been going around. So there was some reshuffling in the L Sector duty roster, and here I am. Uh... I kind of wish I was cleaning the clock, though. So much nicer up there without all the cameras. The cameras? Wave to Big Brother. Or Big Husband, in this case. I saw you talking to Biff about the Citizen Plus program. Biff says I'd be a perfect candidate for it. I know Biff, and if that's what the Citizen Plus program does to people, then you don't want any part of it. But Biff has been reformed. Look at him. He seems so happy now. So at peace with this town. What I wouldn't give. He's a total veg, Mom. Your father is always telling me that I don't invest enough in the workings of our great Citizen Brown. Maybe it's time for me to turn a new leaf and just go with the flow. Okay, just hold off for a bit, please. I don't want you doing anything rash. Alright, alright, let's talk about something else. Alrighty, dear. I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. I, uh, lost my timesheet. What have I got going on this week? Well, Monday is Junior Brown Brigade. Junior what now? And Tuesday is Model UN. Model UN? Mm-hmm. You represent Djibouti. On Wednesday, you'll be overseeing the board game club at the Rex Okay, Center. okay, I've heard enough. I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer. What a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She totally blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscopes and ant farms, and a little more time tending to her needs. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. You see? Everyone is treating me like some sort of goody two-shoes, Mom. They're just jealous that you're such a perfect citizen of Hill Valley. Have I always been this way? Always been a perfect little son? Going on 18 years now. What about that time I set fire to the living room? Oh, but you only did that so you could show us the fire retardant you made with your chemistry set. Heavy. Alright, alright, let's talk about something else. Alrighty, dear. So, what's up with Dad? Ugh. Indeed. What is up with him? That setup in his garage is pretty intense. That's not the word I'd use. More like creepy. I heard that! I feel like I don't know anybody anymore. Well, Martin, that could be a sign you need to get out more. Is there any way I could talk to Citizen Brown? Oh, you know how difficult that is, Martin. The great man spends so much time coming up with new rules and demerits that he barely has time to talk to us anymore. I guess that's the price we pay for a safe, happy city. So he doesn't see anyone? Not unless someone starts rolling up the demerits. He still takes a personal interest in those situations. Hmm. And of course you could talk to Mrs. Brown. Clara? No, silly. Edna. Edna Strickland? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, Doc, uh, Citizen Brown is married to Edna Strickland? Did you get a bump on the head or something? They've been happily married for nearly 40 years. In fact, if you ask me, I think Edna wears the pants in the relationship. She's the one always announcing the day-to-day -day bulletins. Probably writes them herself. I need to sit down. Biff seems, uh, unusually mellow. Well, he should be. He just finished the Citizen Plus program. So far, it looks like it's done him a world of good. You don't think he seems a bit off? I mean, he's so un-Biff. Well, isn't that the point? You remember what he used to be like? He was an unholy terror. He wasn't that bad. Now, sure. But you should have seen him in high school. I, uh, I, I can imagine... What do you think of Jennifer, Mom? Well, she certainly looked like quite a handful, dear. I was really hoping some of her, uh, joie de vie would have rubbed off on you. What do you mean by that? 
Well, Martin, you can be a little uptight sometimes. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it, Mom. Well, maybe you needed to hear it. There's nothing wrong with having priorities in life. Just maybe Jennifer should have been a little higher on your list. Yeah, she should. Well, you did buy that guitar. That's a step in the right direction. Women love musicians. Just keep practicing and I'm sure you'll get better. What are you talking about? I'm a great musician. That's the spirit. All right, all right. Let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Is it just me or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. Is it true that Biff was responsible for getting dogs outlawed? I think that was all Edna's idea. She's always had a sore spot for dogs. Now your father and I, we love dogs. You do? I didn't know that. How come we never had a dog? We had meant to get one to teach you children about responsibility, but by the time we had you, dogs had already been banned. Now I don't think we'll ever have the chance to raise a puppy. Jeez, Mom, that could be the saddest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. You and Jennifer? Really? Oh. Is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little S.O.B. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. You got a cold or something? Ugh, it's allergies. I swear, there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah, and the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, no thanks. What kind of soup you got? Uh, scrolle... Ribellini? Yeah, that's right. Some things never change. What else falls under the more category? Well, there's the hum burger. It's made from pressed roasted hummus. Do you have any real meat back there? Define real. 
I'm afraid to ask, but what other non-soup food do you have? Anything edible? Well, we have these pea and liver with soy cheese hot dogs. They're new, and we're offering free samples. You want one? See ya. Smell you later. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <coughs> ah, go get him, McFly! <coughs> Better blue. He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. I bet you're under here. Not a sign of him. Now we're in business. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einy. Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? Whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? What is it, boy? Einstein, wait! Go! Down! Shit! Play dead! Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of Statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beast. Don't worry, Einy. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, 
Where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him. Severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? Final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. What is it now? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player? What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You want to go prove it? The Ring of Rock? Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson.
cut my cord, you asshole! Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your prize, champ. Mm. 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 Well, back to work. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in rock and roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. Yeah? I want a rematch. Ooh, you got nerves, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I got the technique. Do you now? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What you say, my mother? Try not to leave any scars, baby. Looking for a fight? We just had one. I beat you. 
Again. Mm. Mm. Well, that was fun. I'll see you later. Love is a battlefield. 